Hi, I'm Squeaky Clean Dave. Today I'm going to take you along with me because I've got a couple of gutter and fascia cleaning jobs to do. And to do them I'm going to be using the constant flow from Ionix. So when I did my soft wash course with Ionix a few weeks ago, I bought myself with my own money a constant flow. Uh, I know I've done videos in the past where I've used TFR, but to be honest, I don't really like doing gutters, uh, conservatory roofs, that sort of thing. So I thought the constant flow looked like a good piece of kit. It's a bit on the pricey side, uh, but it does look like a good piece of equipment. So I've bought myself one and I'm gonna use it today uh, and see how I'll get on with it. I have used it on a few other jobs. Uh, I've used it on, a, I've done three conservatory roofs, but none of them were quite right for filming. So I'm gonna bring you along with me today and show you these gutters that I'm gonna clean. Looking at the constant flow itself, uh, you've got a power pack on the front here, uh, which charge seems to last for ages. Uh, like I said, this I've done oh, four or five jobs with this already still reading full power so that, that's fine. The good thing about the constant flow is because it's using compressed air to push the liquid out of the uh, of the tank it's not going through your pump or anything like that so there's nothing that's going to be corroded by using a chemical. The chemical that Ionix supplied to go with the machine is called Contact. It's a chlorinated alkaline foam cleaner so you can use other chemicals, it doesn't have to be this that you use, but this is uh, like a, a mild soft wash solution. It's got um, surfactant in it, and I believe, don't quote me on this because I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's got a, a biocide in it. Um, it can be used with hot or cold water, uh, so, and the amount that you use is 20 to 50 millilitres per litre of uh, water that you're using. So, little thing there that's a 25 litre there so all you do is under the top squeeze it and it fills up and that's how you measure out per litre of water so when you fill the constant flow up it's recommended that you take the power pack off uh, that's to stop any of the chemicals from spilling over it and I suppose could corrode the terminals so it's easy to take off you just twist it and it pulls off uh, easy to put back on you just drop it on at the bottom and it pushes in so take that off to fill it and all you do is undo that lid and uh, all the gubbins come out in one and then I'm going to be using uh, probably half a tank so I'm going to put four, I might even put five of these in so that's using about about 20 or 30 millilitres per litre of water. One more. Once you've got those in, all you do then, I'm just filling it up from the tank. Uh, I've got warm water in the tank, so it works better with warm water apparently. Soft wash, uh, actually the um, soft wash solution will work better with hot water it sort of activates the uh, the bleach in it uh, I'm just going to fill it up with my tank with my hose reel so once you've got your chemical mixed up into the tub all you need to do is you unlock the handle give it four or five pumps give it a few pumps that primes it then you turn the uh, the power button on uh, the green light comes on at the front there and one at the top which gives you a battery power indication. That will pressurise the rest of the canister uh, and then all you need to do is plug however you want to uh, apply it in with a rectus fit in. I'm going to be using the spray nozzle on my hydropole. Um, I'll spray it on with that and it will foam onto the surfaces that you're cleaning. Uh, once I've sprayed it you leave it for a 10 to 20 minutes uh, you don't want to do it really in the midday at this time of year when it's really hot because uh, you don't want it to dry out so get it done early in the morning and uh, that'll make it a lot better uh, so i'll spray it on with a nozzle leave it for a suitable amount of time 
then I'm going to use the, the flock brush and unlike um, using TFR when you still have to scrub pretty much with the constant flow you just wash it off and give it a wipe off uh, I'll also give it a spray off with if there's a lot of bits left on it I'll give it a spray off just with pure water going through the spray nozzle again I found that uh, that really works well just to blast off any little bits of dirt uh, that um, I've done so we'll go and get cracking So that's the first job done. Uh, so they were really pleased with it. I don't know how well the uh, the video will come out, but um, they were really pleased with it. They uh, couldn't be been more happy. Uh, so I'm off to the next job now, and this is a big bungalow. To, uh, we'll go and get it done and see how we get on. So once again, the customer was really pleased with the job I did for them. Uh, on this one, I used the, uh, the gardener brush on this, um, slightly stiffer brush, so I thought I'd give that a go, which uh, worked really well. I find this gets up underneath the gutters nicely. I also used the spray nozzle um, on the hydropole to wash off any bits, so that worked really well. Uh, the customer was that pleased, they gave me an extra tenner for the job than what I asked for and they've asked me to do it twice a year so I've said to them well have a look at it in six months time if it needs doing I'm more than happy to do it but uh, if not we'll leave it and do it in a year's time but so they were really really pleased. 
So, what do you think of the constant flow? Well, when it comes to gutter cleaning, uh, gutter washing, facial washing, uh, it's a fantastic piece of kit. It's not a silver bullet, it's not going to just make the dirt just instantly disappear. You still have to do a bit of scrubbing, but it is definitely easier than using um, a TFR. It is quite a, a pricey piece of kit. Um, I'll leave descriptions below of uh, where you can get it and how much it is. Uh, that'll all be in the description below. Uh, but I'm pleased I bought it. Um, like I said, it was a bit pricey, but it does do a very good job. It's come up with a it's uh, taken a lot of the staining off. You don't have that hard scrubbing that you have sometimes with the TFR. It really brought it up nicely. So I've enjoyed using it. Uh, hopefully I'll be doing some more videos on it. Next time I get a conservatory roof to do, um, I will take you along with me and show you cleaning a conservatory roof. But uh, up until then, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. If not, um, hit the thumbs down button. If you're not already done so, please subscribe to the channel uh, and have a look at my playlists. I've got um, loads of playlists on there for different reviews of different equipment. Uh, if you haven't seen the Hydropole already, there's a review on the Hydropole. Um, and have a look at all the other gear I've got uh, and the other jobs that I've done. So thanks for watching. Bye for now.